Welcome to the WordPress Photography Podcast, the podcast for photographers who want to learn how to get the most out of WordPress to grow their photography business. You don't need to be a geek to understand WordPress. Settle back and listen as we show you how. Now, here's your host, Scott wyden Kivowitz. Welcome to episode 118. My name is Scott wyden Kivowitz, and today... I have a special episode for you. Now, this is an interesting one because this is one where I was interviewed on behalf of Imagely. And what I'm sharing is actually a recording that was done by Jed from the This Conversation podcast presented by White House Custom Color. As you know, as you may know, White House Custom Color is actually a partner of ours. We integrate with White House Custom Color inside of our gallery plugin, NextGen Pro, so that photographers like you can sell your prints and have it automatically uh, printed and fulfilled, delivered right to your clients. This conversation normally has their guests come on and talk about whatever photography topics and business topics, and then the, that episode goes out onto the podcast airwaves for this conversation. In the White House Custom Color Partner series that they have, they put the the conversation on YouTube and they make it available for the partners, like Imagely, to utilize that that conversation in their own content. So that is what we're doing for episode 118. I'm about to go right into the introduction for this conversation and the rest of this episode will be that conversation. So that's really all I have for you today. Enjoy this conversation between myself and Jed on behalf of White House Custom Color. Hello everyone and welcome to this conversation presented by White House Custom Color. It's hard to get stuff done when um, there's no one to do it for you. The biggest value, the biggest marketing opportunity I think any photographer has is their existing client base. Photos help us remember to remember. Well, let's start with this, Scott, why don't you tell me who you are and talk about uh, yourself yeah. for a bit? Sure. Um, it's always weird to talk about yourself, but um, <laughs> so my name is Scott Wyden Kipowitz. Uh, I am a photographer out of New Jersey. I've been a photographer since about two, the year 2000. Mm. And um, so, yeah, about 20 years. Been I photograph uh, headshots, families, um, a lot of cake smash photos, they're very popular in my area. So, um, I do a lot of those and, uh, yeah, I mean, photography is my thing. Um, I'm also, uh, the chief community officer at Imagely, uh, which we're going to be talking about a little bit today. So yeah. we'll dive into that a little bit too, since you've mentioned Imagely, who and what is Imagely is Imagely. Yeah, Imagely is a WordPress development company. We make the most popular gallery plugin for WordPress called NextGen Gallery. It has about a million active users. And uh, with that, we have uh, some, that, and that's free, by the way, a uh, free uh, gallery plugin for WordPress. And with that, we also have um, a paid version called NextGen Pro, which offers proofing and, um, and e-commerce, digital downloads, uh, manual print fulfillment as well as automatic print fulfillment which, very nice uh, is a nice and of course it's with white house custom color um, and um, additionally we have wordpress themes and we have a turnkey photography website solution all on wordpress that is currently in closed beta and hopefully soon we'll be opening it up uh, to external beta as well um, and i don't know when a launch will be officially but it's a great platform. <laughs> so, so talk that's about Imagely in a nutshell. Talk yeah. about the plat. Well, talk about WordPress initially, mm -hmm. and then let's dive more into Imagely because I don't think people realize there's a lot of people that have heard the name WordPress or heard of WordPress. Mm -hmm. um, those that aren't currently users, how big is WordPress? Oh yeah, uh, there's a lot of people who are using WordPress who don't even realize right. they're using WordPress. <laughs> right, that's kind of um, what I wanted to get to. Yeah, I mean, uh, to, to be blunt, even Wix, uh, it, uh, was it Wix or was it Weebly? Weebly, I think, Weebly, yeah. is, is WordPress. It was, yeah. Weebly is literally a fork of WordPress mm -hmm. that they then modified, and it's no longer WordPress. They've, they've, it started that way. Um, so there's a lot of websites that are basically running this. Um, there's also a lot of 
solutions outside the photo industry. For example, uh, and I'll get back to this in a second, but there's a, a company called Carrot that does stuff for, for real estate industry mm-hmm. people and businesses. And their entire platform is a WordPress platform. And you just wouldn't know it. It's right. completely white labeled. You would have no right. idea. Um, okay. So WordPress is the largest, most widely used website platform. It's a, it's a, uh, a CMS, a content management solution. Right. It's used by over 35% of the internet. 35% of the internet is using WordPress, including Google, including Facebook, including Microsoft. Right. Um, they are all using WordPress. Um, and it's basically, it started as a blogging platform, but it has evolved. It is now a true content management system. You can build anything you want, whether it's a website, whether it's a blog, whether it's an actual application. Uh, if you are familiar, at least in the United States, I don't know if they're international, the YMCA. Right. Their, the YMCA is migrating from, and they've been doing this for the past couple of years, migrating from their own system to a complete WordPress solution, which means that when you go to check in to go to the gym, you're checking in through WordPress and you just don't even know it. Right. Um, so... WordPress is, it is an application that is completely free to use. You can host it yourself on your own server, on your own computer if you want. Otherwise, you have to pay to have a host somewhere else. And uh, so for the technical people, you don't have to pay a dime. For the non-technical people, you'll have to pay something to get the website live on the internet, of course. Right, so, right, and host um, So then in that host, context, yeah, yeah. and then, and so using that context, right, you have this you have this massive application in WordPress that has just far reaching fingers, right? And, and is, and is essentially, he said 35%. That's mind. That's just mind blowing to me. So it's enormous. So within that context now talk about Imagely because Imagely is specifically for galleries, basically for photographers. Right. So uh, WordPress is, built as basically three parts. There's core. The core WordPress software does certain things. It allows you to create pages, create blog posts, organize it in certain ways with what's called taxonomies, um, and do other things similar to that kind of stuff. WordPress has something called themes, and themes are the look of your website. Right. Then they have something called plugins, which are the functionality of your website. So right. that might be a contact form. Right. That might be a gallery. That might be um, a booking solution. That might be a, a lead magnet type solution. It might be some SEO software that goes beyond what WordPress can do built in. So what it looks like and what well, it does. Correct. Two right. very different things, right. right? So the theme is only for looks. Plugins are for functionality. Mm-hmm. So Imagely makes... Um, themes for the looks for photographers specifically, and then also plugins for functionality and our functionality. We, we hope to eventually offer our own products for anything a photographer will need, let's say contracts or things right. like that. But in the meantime, we make gallery products. So built into WordPress, you've got a very, very, very simple gallery system built in where it's thumbnails and it's not organized in any way. All of your images are lumped into one big folder, basically unorganized. What we offer is something called Next Gen Gallery, which is a gallery management and gallery display solution. So you manage your galleries like you would in Lightroom. So you have, um, there's different terminology, but basically you have galleries, which are like Lightroom collections. And then you have albums, which are like um, Lightroom's collection sets. So an album can have other albums or galleries within it. So you can parent and, and child all of those into folders and subfolders, basically. Every gallery you upload is separated into its own folder. Your images are, uh, you can upload them in full size, literally through edge DPI, full resolution, straight out of camera if you want. Upload them. We will resize it for the front end so your site still loads fast mm. and display it however you want. We've got a variety of display options. And uh, that backup file is there for security purposes, and it is protected, mind you. Um, it's there for security purposes in case you double watermark your images accidentally or you need to revert or change the front end size. We'll always work off the original. It's also used for the digital downloads and the print sales part of it. So digital downloads will be driven off of 
the, the original backup instead of the small one. And your prints will print from the original backed up image instead of the small one. So we're giving you way more than what the average gallery in WordPress or gallery plugin will do. We are Certainly. going way beyond that. Um, and uh, it's very advanced uh, and it's actually been tried and tested. It's uh, the next gen gallery existed before WordPress had its own gallery function built in. So that's a, that's a old, uh, it's over 10 years old next gen gallery at this point. So, so you guys um, essentially next gen is, is something that brings uh, a lot of aesthetic options depending on what theme you want. Right. And then a tremendous amount of functionality that doesn't exist within WordPress by itself. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we make it possible for, with our paid upgrade of our free software, we make it possible for photographers to drop non WordPress based proofing systems and e-commerce systems and just use what they already have. Oh. So the branding of your website will be consistent because right. you're literally not sending anybody anywhere else. You're not using subdomains. You're not using subfolders. You're literally using your website as it is. And uh, you get all the power and even the automated print fulfillment, which is uh, re it's a really beautiful thing. Uh, that's, that's a, <laughs> it is a beautiful thing when that, when you can integrate something like that. I, I, I gotta tell you, you know, like <laughs> I, I just have to share, like when we first launched print lab integration, um, and I'm sorry if I go on, but like, <laughs> you're, you're gonna, you're gonna appreciate this so much. When we first launched print lab integration and we were testing it internally before we launched mm -hmm. and um, my boss was like, you know, here's a budget, just order a bunch of prints. We want to make sure everything comes out clear and how you expect it to come out. And, you know, I've been using White House for a very long time, so I knew th how the result would be. But I'll tell you, whether you order directly from White House, whether you order it through a smug mug or a shoe proof or whatever, it is a very different feeling when that print comes from a WordPress site. And, you're, and it's just, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is impossible. <laughs> yet it, now it is, right? When it, when it arrived, I was like, this came through my, web, my website. Like, it's mind-blowing that... It's so great. That, that, that it happens. It's so weird. So it was a very strange feeling that first time. So, well, let's, yeah. let's, uh, that's a nice segue into talking about the advantage of advantages of using a, a print lab like white house. That, that, that's a, you, you yeah. gave me a nice softball just to go from one to the other. I, 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 I try. I try. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you could, you could easily manually, you know, fulfill your prints, whether you do it at home, in your own studio, whatever, your own printer, or you can send it off to a lab manually. But that's a process, right? You, right. Um, so, I mean, some photographers prefer, prefer it because they can really, really nitpick on everything and right. do what they need to. But, but when you can automatically fulfill it, it's saving you time and money. I mean, yeah. time is money, really. But right. at this, you know, to print yourself, it costs a, it costs a lot of money, oh, right? It's yeah. ink is ink is not cheap anymore. While the printers might be getting cheaper in some aspects, those really big ones are not cheap. Right. And the, the, how fast you go through ink, it's just, it, it adds up a lot. Um, yeah. Plus, you now need the time of ensuring that you're constantly calibrating your monitor, yeah. calibrating, you know, um, the printer and make sure it all matches and all the that stuff. The maintenance. Oh, the headaches. The maintenance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah cleaning those machines all the time. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it is... It is, a, it is a hassle, it really is. So being able to, to print through White House from your own website uh, with being hands-off for the most part because you can edit your photos with the, with the White House's you know, ICC profiles in Lightroom and Photoshop and whatnot ahead of time uh, and then upload that to your website. But the rest of it, you don't have to worry about. Right. You don't have to worry about printing it, maintaining it, shipping it, packaging it, all that stuff. And it comes white labeled. So right. it's not like it's coming from Imagely. It's not coming from Joe Schmo. It's coming from, you know, your photography business. It's coming from you. And it's, right. It's, right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's, it's fantastic. What sort of tips do you give to people regarding marketing? Like marketing their, their prints in particular? Yeah. I mean, you know, um, there's a depending on where you are mm. the type of photography you do um you either push prints heavily 
or you don't push prints heavily because if you're in a market where where your customers are used to buying a session and then maybe ordering a print here and there if you push prints in your marketing it may not do you justice right yeah but if you're in a market where you can do it my suggestion to everybody is to promote the prints in how you want people to buy them so on your website you should be displaying photos in your portfolio not just as the photos you should be displaying them in frames on canvases oh. on your customers yes. walls yes literally displaying them how you want your customers to order them yeah showing the, finished, trigger, showing the finished product yeah yeah okay. psychologically people are going to say okay this this photographer sells wall art if i hire this photographer i am buying wall art i am not just buying digital files now next gen gallery does not have a feature to uh to do the mock-ups eventually we hope to get there right. but in the meantime you could you could use white house's tools right. the, the ipad right there's yeah. the, the the ipad app that you yeah. can literally mock it up yeah um there's a lot of there's a lot of you know um apps out there and to and software out there to do that you could just do it in photoshop um mm -hmm. there's there's so many ways that you can do it but i think that's the most important thing you can do to market prints in any market that will do will be successful in marketing prints um, and you have to know your market in order it's to such a great, you do that. It's, it's a great simple solution. It's so funny. I haven't heard a lot of people push that really hard. And yet I feel like it's just, it's just common sense. Show, yep. show is. the final product, yeah. right? Yep. Everybody shows images on their website, but show the final product as well. And the, and yeah. the installation and where it lives and, and everything so that people can get a better idea of what to expect, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and you don't want to use White House's app or any other services out there. And I, I might get a lot of hate for this, but you can go to a stock site like Unsplash, do a search for room, right? Find a stock room that, you know, and, and use that room, throw your photo up on the wall, and you've, you've got a simple one and it didn't cost you a dime really, you know, yeah, or, or um, take a picture of your own couch. I or, mean, we've, we've done that yeah. ourselves. It's so funny. Like, yeah, you just take the image that's up there down, take a picture of the couch with the blank wall. And then all of a sudden you have a wall, you have a room yeah. to use. Right. And if you want to be strategic about it, you contact your existing clients that you know, purchased wall yes. art already. And right. you say, if you let me come and take a photo of your room with the wall art on it, I'll give you $25 credit to your next session. Sure. Now you're getting them to want another session. And they're coming and in. And you're getting the photo that you need. Yep. So in, in that relationship piece, that always makes me think about, so I think about social media, right? And the way that we're interacting mm -hmm. online. Uh, and from a marketing standpoint too, talk about social media growth and, 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 aut and using it for automation to help you grow those those pieces yeah i am big on what i like to call semi automated social media and i call it semi because <laughs> you aren't automating everything you still right. need to be available to answer people to engage with people as needed but we as photographers have too many other things to worry about than be, to be posting all the time right. everywhere and there's a lot of places to to be posting right so uh, I'm a fan of using services like Meet Edgar or Buffer or Later, services like that that allow you to schedule your social posts mm -hmm. on all the different platforms and be hands off on the initial posting, right? right. And so I, I personally use Buffer. I use it for my own photography. I use it for Imagely. But there's a, photographers use a, a wide range of things. Yeah. And what is nice is that I can add to my queue and I don't think about it later, but there's also a WordPress plugin. There's a free version and there's also a paid version. Imagely doesn't make it. I, I pay for it myself um, to be used. It's called WP to buffer pro. And it allows me to, as a new blog post or a new page gets published, you can, you can fine tune the settings to add to your buffer queue. And then again, I'm publishing a blog post. I'm taking the time to write the blog post, which takes the most time. And then once I hit publish, everything I've already configured in the plugin, it sends it all to buffer at that configuration. And 
it's going out to all my different social channels automatically. Um, and I do the same yeah. thing for Google My Business, which is extremely important. Mm -hmm. Buffer doesn't have that yet, but there's a plugin. Um, I think it's, I forgot what, it's, what exactly what it's called, but it does the same thing, but to Google My Business. So I publish a new blog post and it gets posted to Google My Business as a new post with the photo that I designated and I can even do it recurring. So every month that um, something gets reposted. So there's always something fresh, which is important to Google for SEO. Um, so that's what I mean by semi-automating. You're automating the initial and then you're following up manually as people are engaging with that content. Um, and that engagement and the constant um, pushing to social is helping your local citations, is helping mm. your um, social in, uh, growth, your social engagement. It's just, it's extremely important. Well, and really a big piece of it is about saving you time. You mentioned earlier how time is money, right? Yeah. And, to, and, yep. to, and to be able to schedule things out and, to, and then to, to do it in blocks where then you have periods of time where you don't have to think about that and you have the time to do other things. Because I, I think at the end of the day, it's all about the bottom line, right? I, w I wanted to ask you regarding the bottom line in particular, considering time is money. Um, talk about, and, and this kind of goes back to what we were talking about earlier regarding products too, which I didn't know you were going to mention. That's it's a fantastic uh, suggestion to, to actually show products. But talk about prints. Talk about, talk about prints a little bit. Um, especially in the, in the context of, of image, imagely and next gen where you have the session fee, right? And I get a lot of people like to, uh, even charge more upfront for a session fee and they consider that their, their revenue, but talk about print sales and product sales on top of that. Um, yeah. So again, it depends on the, um, the genre, right? And, and your competition, your local competition and whatnot. But so let's say you're doing, you're doing headshots and, and you have a session fee. Your session fee for a headshot most likely doesn't include any print because mm -hmm. headshots these days it's very rare that you actually need a print. Most of the time it's being used for something digital. Right. So you're not necessarily going to uh, promote prints up front, but you might have it as an add-on later on in your gallery, right? So for sure. me, for headshots, I have a $300 session fee and then it's $75 per selected image that they want me to edit and that they want as a digital you know, file to use for all their marketing efforts. Right. Um, and then in that gallery where they can buy the image, they can also order prints if they want. It's, it's going to be rare, but that's why as an upsell, it's, it's there as an upsell sort of in the background, but it's not something I'm going to promote for the headshots because it's not something that they're going to buy. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to um, cakes mass sessions or family sessions, right. it's completely different. I charge right. a session fee, that actually already includes an eight by 10 wall ready print. And I actually do the, the standout because I find, and tell me if you, if you agree or not agree, but I find that as for a product to include in a session fee, standouts are probably the one of the best you can do because one, they're already wall mountable. Mm -hmm. And two, they're actually really inexpensive. It's literally just, paper on foam that has a hole in it to hang, right? right? It's right. nothing, there's not much to it. Right. But to the client, it looks really fancy, especially if you get one of the, the uh, you know, nice borders or whatever. It's a high value black. product but, in that way, I think, right? Like you get a yeah. lot aesthetically for what you're paying for. Yep. Yep. So if you uh, include a product in your, in your, pl in your package that is already something that is for the wall. You can now show additional, you're showing the examples of additional wall art and you're also giving them the option. You can even show them your print prices up front if you have a PDF or you do it on the website, whatever it is. Um, and, and you're sort of, sort of pushing and pushing and pushing the fact that wall art is what you do. It's not just digitals, right? Mm. Um, and in order to push the wall art more, you could do things like, um, give 
the small Facebook ready, and I'll use air quotes for that, <laughs> um, Facebook ready sized images, small thousand pixel images, whatever, yeah. of the final images, the final 10 images or whatever. But there, a lot of clients now these days, they want the digitals. Mm -hmm. So give them the digitals when they order wall art. Yes. When they order a print, give them the high res digital. They can then print, you know, whatever they want down the road if they choose or they right. want to archive it or something like that. Right. right? Um, so that's ways that you can upsell by, by sort of pushing people, um, whether it's direct or indirect, like that method, um, push people towards wall art. And I do that indirect method a lot with my families and my cake smashes is I will, um, I do the, the wall art, the standout included, and then I'll give the high, high res digitals when they buy additional wall art. When they purchase it. Right. Right. That's a great, yeah. I think that's mm -hmm. a great system too. I've seen that work for a lot of people. Tell me this, yeah. what are some things that we can expect to see from Imagely? Is there anything you can give me a taste Little teaser. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Imagely is our developers work in what was called development sprints. So it's like one month sprint where you work on a bunch of bug fixes or features or right. whatever, pu push them out. There's like a week or two, a period in between while you plan the next sprint. And then there's another month of development. And, um, that's how you get big chunks of quality releases in a, in a very consistent time frame. Sure. Um, we are getting close to the next sprint and the, what they're looking at doing for the next sprint is actually adding, um, metal prints, like the actual print on metal mm -hmm. and acrylic prints to next gen pros integration with white house custom color. Very good. So that I'm very excited for. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, <laughs> I, I don't normally for myself, I don't normally print on paper. I usually print on either canvas metal or acrylic right we already have canvas in there so i'm, <laughs> I'm excited for the rest yeah you got the other um, two yeah so something that a lot of people don't know happened back in march when the whole covid19 thing started uh when a lot of business businesses were closing we were actually in the process of being acquired so it was really weird timing it actually the, the whole banks being closed thing did delay everything a little bit but uh, back in March, we were acquired by the CEO um, who, of Enviro Gallery. So Enviro Gallery is uh, one of the other popular gallery plugins for WordPress. It's a very different model um, than NextGen Gallery. I can explain that uh, after. But Enviro Gallery is uh, also very well built, um, very feature rich, has a lot of comparable features to NextGen Gallery. And the plan is also down the road to take the net, the lab integration we have in next gen and add it to Envira as well. Nice. So for anybody on WordPress who's using Envira instead of next gen, eventually you'll also have the same um, capabilities without having to switch over. You'll be able to get that as well. That's so. really good news. I, it sounds like there's yeah. great things coming down the pike. Uh, yeah. Scott, yeah. thank you for your time today. This was awesome. Um, I, I help give people the, the details on where to go um, on the web to, to see uh, Imagely in, in the next gen galleries. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very easy. Just go to Imagely.com and you'll see all the information there. Um, if you go to Imagely.com slash WHCC, you'll see information about the um, integration, the lab fulfillment. And uh, that's, yeah, that's where you'll get everything. And um, Install next gen gallery if you haven't already, because there's a nice discount if you do. <laughs> nice. I like that. I like that um, news too. Yeah. Hey, yeah. thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's been a been fun chat. All right. Have a good one. You've been listening to the WordPress Photography Podcast. To listen to other episodes and to subscribe to the podcast via iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and more, please visit imagely.com forward slash podcast.